so I could use some animator insight. Uh, a day ago, I posted a, a poll on Instagram asking if animators like their IKs oriented to object or world. And uh, the, the poll was actually pretty, pretty split. It came out as object, but I really want to know the reasoning uh, why you guys are asking for uh, one way over the other. From my understanding, people who want it in world space say that it makes it easier th for them to clean up in the graph editor, uh, at least for translations. But um, if you guys could definitely like chime in in the comments and let me know what you prefer, uh, some of the advantages and disadvantages uh, to those would be good. Um, but to this rig specifically, I wanted to get some animator insight on a few things. So ever since I saw the concept for this guy, which blew me away, I absolutely love it. Uh, these huge ammo packs right here in a high deformation area kind of messed with me. So initially I was like, all right, let's see if I can just get away with um, one to one skinning. And as you see, that is not great. They don't retain form really well. So that just wasn't really an option. So what I came up with um, is a system that allows you to, from either top, mid, or bottom, grab these uh, and really kind of warp them so that they can deform with the character's torso. And he's got uh, quite the belly, so being able to manipulate these uh, at three different levels per ammo pack I felt was pretty cool. Also, um, they move with the spine uh, in tandem, but I wanted to give the ability for them to uh, maybe hang down if you wanted so they can like swing or you could keep them adhere to the body like they're uh, tied in to the mole um, so yeah uh, I also wanted to know like how you guys feel about this particular setup and if there's anything else you've seen that you like that I could enhance this with uh, just really give me your thoughts on that uh, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is his arm plates so I thought it would be a really cool idea to have these come off. Uh, animators can throw them all the way off into space. Um, if he's jumping or something, maybe they can like flap up. Uh, the issue comes in on the forearm plate. So right now, I don't see any reason for these plates not to move. But now I'm trying to figure out how I want, or how animators are going to want this one to move. So we can do this thing where we keep, uh, we have this, have the same functionality as the other plates where you can just translate it, rotate it, and just lift it independently. However, what usually happens uh, for characters' forearms is when you have this wrist move, uh, the topology here follows for a more smooth fall off. Uh, let me illustrate that for you real quick. So here on Sinestro, um, as you can see on his forearm, we get this really nice rotation in the geo. So you can pronate and supinate really well and you just get really clean deformation. Uh, and on this arm, let me kind of throw this out in the space. Uh, on this arm, we have a similar setup, and you can see that like he has this armor piece here that's not deforming with it, uh, and his forearm actually gets fed all the way through there. Uh, and even when we start extreme uh, bends and we get some clipping, you come over here and you can babysit that after the fact and kind of do what you want. The problem is, is that with Sinestro, this completely engulfs his forearm, and on our polar SWAT, we really don't have that same artistic uh, armor placing for us to hide behind. So this is a binary question. I do need to know what you guys want to see more. Do you want to see the armor uh, deform with the forearm when he uh, moves his, his hand? Or would you guys like it to behave like the other uh, plates? I'm kind of going to reserve my own thoughts on this so um, I can just get an unfiltered version of what you guys think. Uh, so yeah, let me know what, what you guys are feeling about that. Um, the the rig's coming along. He'll be out soon. After I get that feedback, I will um, be pushing him out there for animator testing. Uh, for anyone who wants to test this guy, uh, please let me know. And if you can, link me to your um, to your portfolio, your art station, anything that you can do to show me your anims. Uh, as as a way of like paying animators for testing, I like to give away the rig uh, for free to anyone who gives me the time to like properly test. Um, for that, I really need animators who like are very prolific um, and can really show like, hey, like not very much stops me uh, in the way of animating. Like, uh, I, I want to get like critical issues and I want wish list problems uh, and I want it from animators who animate a lot. Um, so one thing I want to acknowledge is uh, I've gotten a few comments on the tiger rig I put out like five years ago. One thing that really came back to me was that he didn't have a mouth. Uh, that was not my fault. I did not model that character, but I did model this guy, and as you can see, he's got his mouth, he's got his tongue, he can roar, 
he's got lift controls like he can do everything uh, so you guys will definitely have him roaring and chomping down in the very near future so that's what that's what we're looking at um, thank you guys for taking the time um, and yeah please uh, respond down in the comments below like I said give me examples of, of uh, pros and cons to all the questions I've asked um, I'm really looking forward to hearing you guys feedback thanks everybody and I'll have this guy out to you guys soon